Good evening everyone, this is Adele 6A, headquarters station of the New Zealand Association of Radio Transmitters, with the official broadcast for November 2018. Presenting tonight's broadcast, I'm Jim Meachin, Adele 2BHF in Nelson. We start tonight's official broadcast with presidential comment. Reporting from Upper Mutri, it's NZRT Vice President, Phil Holiday, ZL3 PAH. Phil? Good evening. This is Vice President Phil, ZL3 PAH, stepping in for Stuart, ZL2 TW. Stuart has taken a few days off from NZRT duties as his brother sadly passed away very recently. Another sad event was the passing just a few days ago of Tony Case, ZL1 UD. Tony was an NZ ART councillor from 2003 to 2009. Although Tony had not been very active in the last few years, many of you would have known him from his participation in various events, such as the WRC rallies, Waikatu jet boat races, and the Colville connection on the Coromandel, all of which he really enjoyed. Stuart, the ZL2TW, will be attending his funeral. Moving on to more cheerful topics... For those of you with a 60-metre permit, please note that this will expire on the 24th of January next year. NZART is currently working with RSM on 60 metres and will be presenting them with a report on our collective experiences over the last year. A questionnaire is being sent to all sub-licence holders regarding their 60-metre operation, so if you are a sub-licence holder, please respond with as much detail as possible. Council has been looking for some time into issues around insurance cover for those branches which have charitable status, and they will be hearing from us soon. Note that this is only for those branches which currently have charitable status. December is the YOTA, or Youth on the Air Month. Senior ZL4YL and her team of youth operators will be activating ZL6YOTA, during December, so if you hear them, please give them a call. I understand they will be on CW, SSB, FT8, and maybe even RTTY on the HF bands, and there will also be some two-meter activity. If you would like to operate this call sign and are a youth operator, that is up to around 26 years in age, please contact Xenia ZL4YL. Her details are on qrz.com. I'm sure she will be pleased to hear from you. I am personally looking forward to the coming weekend, which is the CQ Worldwide DX CW contest, and one of my favourites of the year. The contest exchange is CQ's own number. ZL is 32, and so even if you're a novice CW operator, this is a good opportunity to work some choice DX, and you will not be sent huge extent exchange numbers at high speed by Russian operators. Good luck to those of you who took part, and don't forget to put in an entry. They are all appreciated, whatever your score. It is always surprising how the HF bands, which seem to have been dead for weeks, suddenly spring into life for a big contest. So that is it from me, 73. And thank you, Phil, the Vice President of NZART, Phil Holiday, ZL3PAH. A reminder tonight of the VHF Field Day Contest to be held next weekend, Saturday the 1st and Sunday the 2nd of December. This VHF contest is regarded as the big event of the year where not only field stations participate, but also many home stations. This contest is open to all New Zealand amateur radio operators, whether out on the field, home station, mobile or stationary mobile. Overseas stations are also eligible if they work ZL in the contest. EME or Earth Moon Earth contacts are also eligible. As a general note, the majority of terrestrial activity centres on 50.15 MHz, then 144.2, 432.2 and 1296.2 MHz SSB. The operating periods are 5pm to 11pm on the Saturday and 7am to 1pm on the Sunday New Zealand local time. You can find the full contest rules on the NZART website. That's the VHF Field Day Contest 2018, all band 6 metres and above, next weekend, Saturday the 1st and Sunday the 2nd of December. 
To NZRT Headquarters News, Debbie's away tonight attending a conference in Australia for RFUANZ, but she has prepared the following comments. I have received the official word from RSM regarding notification of silent keys and the requirements to remove their call sign from the RSM database as follows. Unfortunately, we can no longer release the call signs unless we have proof of death. We now need to have one of the following. Confirmation from the family of the deceased. A copy of the death certificate. A copy of the obituary. A reference to a newspaper notification. So, there it goes. I'm afraid please do not forward an email to headquarters when you hear of a silent key, especially as call book is due out soon. There will still be a number of silent keys listed in there. Last weekend, I spent a good number of hours folding and enveloping statements for the 2019 subscription year for those who have yet to renew. These should have been received already or will be received very soon. Just a reminder, the rebate is to be deducted from the invoice total, and that is for transmitting, non-transmitting, $99, or family transmitting, family non-transmitting, $129. A copy of the nomination form for President and Council was emailed out with your latest copy of HQ Info Line. The form should be completed by the nominee and the seconder and returned to the returning officer by the 31st of December 2018. And Debbie Advisors, she'll be back in action at NZRT headquarters from Wednesday the 28th of November. And that's the November headquarters update. A reminder from New Plymouth Branch 27 that the next NZRT conference is being held in New Plymouth over Queen's Birthday weekend. That's the 1st and 2nd of June 2019 at the Quality Plymouth Hotel. Accommodation is available at the venue. Details can be found on the conference website. Conference dot zl two a b dot com. Now for a catch up on international amateur radio news, we join the team at the amateur radio news line. We begin this week with an update on what is easily one of the most anticipated de expeditions in the ham radio community: the Bouvet Island de expedition. While there are no specific dates for when the 3Y0I team becomes an on-air reality, the operators are now assembling in Cape Town, South Africa, and making preparations for what is expected to be at least a two-week stay. The team includes Dom, 3Z9DX, the group's leader, as well as Jose, CT1DSV, TAC, JE1CKA, MeTech, SP3CMX, Marson, SP5ES, Stanislaw, SP8S, and Branco, YU4DX. It's expected to take 12 days for them to arrive at their destination in the South Atlantic before getting on the air. They'll be operating on frequencies from 160 to 6 meters and using SSB, CW, and FT8. Their preferred QSL is via Club Logs OQRS, but they'll accept LOTW or via 3Z9DX. The team estimates the total cost for the trip at about 225000 U.S. dollars. As the team continues to work out security measures and logistics, this venture takes on even more importance for all interested hams. It follows the scrapping of the 3Y0Z de expedition in February of this year after one of its ship's engines developed problems, forcing the team to reverse course, even as the coveted island destination was well within their sights. Members of the Philippine Amateur Radio Association are getting ready for a big party and a big go-kit contest at the end of November. Jason Daniels, VK2LAW, has the details. The Philippine Amateur Radio Association is marking its 86th anniversary with a celebration being held inside the multi-purpose hall of Camp Crane in Quezon City on the 30th of November. It was on the 27th of November in 1932 that the association was organised under its founding president, Leon Grove, who had the pre-Second World War call sign Kilo Alpha 1 Lima Golf and was principal of the Philippine School of Arts and Trade. Later that year, Para was admitted to the International Amateur Radio Union. The day's celebrations will include the group's fourth annual ham radio go-kit contest, in which hams who have created an emergency station compete for prizes. Hams must be able to demonstrate their go-kit's operation and explain to the judges how it works. 
go kits may be contained inside an ammo can, tackle box, toolkit, suitcase or any other suitable housing. The contest requires registration by November 26th. Admission to the day of celebration is free to all PARA members. For more information, send an email to para1932 at gmail.com. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jason Daniels, VK2LAW. For now, with Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the News Desk in New York, and our news team worldwide, I'm Jim Dameron, N8TMW in Charleston, West Virginia, saying 73. And as always, we thank you for listening. Amateur Radio Newsline is copyright 2018, all rights reserved. And as always, we say thank you to Newsline for the use of their copyright material. The Christmas New Year holiday period is a great chance to get on the air. Accordingly, NZART is promoting New Year's Day, the 1st of January 2019, as a portable activity day. This is an opportunity to get outdoors and operate, knowing there'll be others doing the same. As an activity day, this is not a contest, so it's up to you to decide when, where and how you operate. Can't get away? Then just fire up the rig at home and work as many stations as you can. Who knows, by the end of it, you may be able to claim an award. Now if you're going to go portable, post your intentions on the NZART members' email reflector or email cqdx at nzart.org.nz. Nearer the day, we'll look to publish a comprehensive list of activity on the major email reflectors, info line and Facebook groups, so people know who to listen out for and where they'll be. Good luck and hope to hear you on the air. And that information from Mark Sullivan, ZL3AB. Right now on the broadcast, it's time for Waro News, and it's a very good evening to Rosemary, ZL1RO. Thanks, Jim, and good evening, everybody. Waro congratulates Nari ZL2UJT, who is the top DXYL in the recent Australian Alara 80 metre contest. Alara appreciates the ZL stations taking part in this contest each year. Warra's web page is worth checking from time to time, and many thanks to Kathy ZL2ADK and David ZL3AI for their work. Go to www.qsl.net slash nzwarro and you'll find lots of information about Warro and items of interest to it YLs. There are also links to sister YL organisations. It's time for me to tell you again about YL Nets on VHF, which operate in various areas of the country. In the Auckland area, YLs have a net on Sunday nights on the 146900 repeater at 1900 hours. On Mondays and Fridays, a YL group also uses the 146900 repeater at 1900 hours. This repeater can be accessed over a wide area from the Waikato through to Auckland and across to Thames. In the Nelson area, there's the NAGS net for whales held on Wednesday nights at 19.30 hours on the 147025 repeater. Do check in if you're passing through these areas during the holidays. Don't forget the weekly Waro 80 metre net held on Mondays at 20.00 hours on 3.695 MHz. We'd love to hear more whales checking into this net for a couple of overs. That's a lot from Waro for this month, Jim. Thank you, Rosemary. Reporting for Waro, Rosemary Bosher, ZL1RO. New Zealand Straight Key Night, normally held on the first Sunday in November, will be held this year on Sunday the 2nd of December from 9pm to 10pm on 80 metres. Silent Key Night honours the roots of amateur radio, Morse code sent with a straight key. No bugs, side swipers, keyers or keyboards. All levels of CW skill are welcome in this event. There are certificates for the three stations working the most QSOs and all participants are invited to nominate an operator for the Best Fist Award. Silent Key Night has a unique exchange that includes not just RST but also type of key, type of transmitter and power output. There are special log sheets available so that it's easy to keep track of this information. Get all the details at http colon forward slash forward slash maritime radio 
dot org forward slash s k n. Finally, in the lineup tonight, it's NZART branch news. Stephen ZL four HG is currently overseas, so here we go. We start tonight with the Whangarei Amateur Radio Club Branch 2018 ZART, who are holding their annual general meeting at the club rooms Heritage Park Manu on Wednesday the 5th of December, immediately following their December club meeting, which commences at 7.30pm. To the Hibiscus Coast Radio Society Branch 80, they'll be holding their annual strawberries and ice cream evening on Wednesday the 12th of December. Pam will also present a quiz to determine members' continued mental prowess. North Shore Branch 29, they'll be holding their last meeting for 2018 on December the 3rd at 7.30pm at their club rooms, 400 East Coast Road in Sunny Nook. This will be a Christmas party, a social evening and a chance to share refreshments and dessert in the recently refurbished meeting room. Please confirm your attendance by emailing zl1gmb at extra.co.nz by Thursday the 29th of November. It's AGM time for Auckland Branch 02. They'll be holding their annual general meeting on Tuesday 11th of December at 7.30pm at their club rooms located at 400 St John's Road, St Helier's in Auckland. Western Suburbs Radio Club Branch 03 will be holding an informal meeting at their club rooms at 9.30am on Wednesday 5th of December. The club's Christmas dinner will be held at 6.30pm on Thursday the 13th of December at the Avondale RSA. From Manawatu Amateur Radio Society Branch 20, the ZL2KO Christmas Beano will be held on Saturday the 8th of December at the Awapuni Racecourse. Drinks at 6pm, dinner at 7pm. If you wish to attend, please email president at zl2ko.org.nz or info at zl2ko.org.nz and do that please before the 30th of November. Down country to Lower Hutt and the Hutt Valley Branch 18 of NZART, they'll be holding their annual Beano on Friday, December the 7th, 7.30pm at their club rooms located on the Philip Evans Reserve in Waterloo, Lower Hutt. That's Friday the 7th. Wellington, Branch 50 in ZART, they'll be holding their Christmas dinner at 6.30pm on Monday, 3rd of December at the 1841 Restaurant in Johnsonville. Across the Straits to Nelson Amateur Radio Club, Branch 26, advance notice of their annual barbecue to be held on Rabbit Island from 10.30am onwards on Sunday the 27th of January 2019. And that's the Branch News for November. The next official broadcast of NZART will be made by ZL6A at 8pm on the Sunday before Christmas. That's Sunday the 23rd of December. This is ZL6A, headquarters station of the New Zealand Association of Radio Transmitters, concluding the official broadcast for November 2018. Good night everyone. Good night now.